Praise our brothers and sisters. This is Brother Santosh coming to you with yet another episode on the Blessed Life in Christ video and podcast series. Dearly beloved, today we are going to meditate on prosperity. You know, we are continuously meditating on prosperity, healing and faith. And today is the day of prosperity. In prosperity, actually, we are going to take a closer look at the favor of God. Dearly beloved, the favor of God is a very, a very important in a child of God's life. And it plays a very vital role in each and every step of his Christian life. And we need to know, we need to be sure about this favor of God. And we understand why we read the Bible that the favor of God surrounds us and it is among us and the favor of God rests within us. And when we start living this Christian life, it is God's favor which helps us in every way. You know, when Jesus was alive and he was in the world, even while he was growing up, he needed God's favor. Yes, uh, let me show it to you. It is actually Luke's second chapter and the last verse. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Dearly beloved, Jesus grew in favor with God and man. And so we too need favor from both God and men. We don't, we don't really trust in men. We are not supposed to trust in men. We are supposed to trust only in God. But we need the favor from man and God and today especially we are going to learn about the favor of God. In Psalms 5th chapter and 12th verse we read for thou Lord will bless the righteous and with favor will thou compass him as with a shield. It's like the favor of God surrounds us and it protects us like a shield. And when we take a look at another word, which is uh, Proverbs 14, chapter and the 9th verse, fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. And uh, Luke 2nd chapter 14th verse, I am reading, reading it from the New International Version. It says, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Dearly beloved, it is God's favor. It is God's favor surrounds us. It is among us. It rests within us. And why do we need this God's favor? Yes, that is a very important and an interesting question. Let us try to answer that. Okay. Let us go to Psalms 44 and let us start reading from the first verse. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days in the times of old. How the, thou didst drive out the heathen within thy hand and planted them and how thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Dearly beloved, in this Christian life, you may be in a position where you are still looking for the promise of God to come 
into life. You are still looking for that promise of God to come into fruition in your life. You still are looking towards God so that He will accomplish what He had promised. And dearly beloved, it is not that our own arm, it is not our own strength that is going to win or rather help us <clears throat> inherit the promise. In from the 44th chapter in the Psalms, we can understand that you know the author of the Psalm refers to God's children occupying the promised land. And uh, he says their fathers have told them. And uh, it say, he says, How thou didst drive out heathen with thy hand and plantest them. Dearly beloved, if we are, if there is any hope of inheriting the promise of God, it is only possible only with 100% of God's move. If God is not going to help us in our promise, there is no way we can inherit it. And here we clearly see that God's own right hand, with thy hand, he drove them, you know, he drove the people out of that promised land and he planted Israelites there. And daily beloved, more interesting is the third verse where it says, for they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thine right hand, thy arm, and the light of thy countenance. Dearly beloved, that is the only way through which we can also inherit the promises of God. We need His right hand, we need His arm, and we need the light of His countenance. They, uh, we read, uh, read the verse, they looked at His face and they were not ashamed. Dearly beloved, in this life of faith, we are supposed to lay our eyes on Jesus and Him alone. We are not supposed to move our eyes away from Him, never. When we remove our eyes from Him, we go astray. Dearly beloved, when we continue to look at Jesus Christ, when we continue to look at Him alone, then interesting things start happening. Then the Lord Himself moves. The Lord Himself starts working for us. His countenance helps us in winning over the inheritance. Yes, dearly beloved, that is exactly what happened to the people of Israel, and that is what is going to happen to me and you. Yes. Only God. Dearly beloved, in this Christian life, we need God's favor. And it is only God's favor which can give us, you know, the blessings that we need. And we see how Jesus Christ grew in favor with God and man. And we also know that when the Israelites started from Egypt, you know what happened? Let me let me read it to you. Uh, yes, it is Exodus that chapter. And this is what happened. And I will give the this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty. 
and in the uh, amplified classic i believe yes amplified classic and uh, let us wait for it to yes see in the not exactly in the amplified classic it is the new living translation the same verse uh, exodus 3 and verse 21 it says i will cause the egyptians to look favorably on you and they will give you gifts when you go so you will not leave empty handed dearly beloved here god says that he will make he will cause the egyptians to look favorably on you if we are supposed to get any favor from any human being it is because god making them give that favor to us otherwise there is no one to help us otherwise there is no one to help you and me we are after all you know christians and we don't have we don't have the luxury of luxury some people are enjoying we don't have the backing we don't have someone to you know prop us up no in fact we have none we have none but god and because god is in our favor he causes the egyptians to be favorable to you and that is exactly how god is going to accomplish the miracles i mean uh, which is needed for the fulfillment of your promise we need tons and tons of miracles for our promises to be fulfilled i need i need i need a ton of miracles to happen and it will happen because god has promised me that he will make the egyptians favor towards me dearly beloved when we start thinking about god's favor to god's favor are you really god's favorite do you think you have god's favor on you let me tell you we you and me we have the favor of god why because jesus christ died on the cross for you and me when jesus christ died he loved me more than jesus christ so to save me he left jesus to die on the cross because god so loved you he left jesus christ to die on the cross for your sins for my sins that is how god shows favor to you because he has given the son himself do you think he will withhold the other blessings definitely not dear beloved definitely not it is not going to happen god is going to fulfill all the promises he has made for to you and let us be very careful it is not just the case of inheriting the promise we are supposed to inherit jesus christ himself because that is our only blessing which is worth keeping forever yes dearly beloved that is what god wants you and wants for you and me it is not just a, it is not just a case of uh, you know uh, fulfilling the promise and giving you some money or some some relationship or some health or something like that no it is way beyond that it is we inheriting jesus christ for our own this is a relationship this is not religion my beloved because god wants to bless you <clears throat> because god wants to bless you he is <clears throat> giving his favor on you and 
we are definitely blessed and i would like to read one more verse and close it is actually 84th psalm and uh, 11th verse which says for the lord god is a sun and shield the lord will give grace and glory <clears throat> no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly he says he will give grace and glory and he will not withhold any good thing to them that walk uprightly and when we read the amplified classic version it is even more wonderful for it says for the lord god is a sun and shield the lord bestows grace and favor and future glory honor splendor and heavenly bliss and no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly who are these people who are walking uprightly it is the people who are justified by the blood of jesus christ have you accepted jesus christ as your savior that means you are a blessed person that means you are a righteous person and you are you are exactly this person who is walking uprightly yes that is what god wants for you and me god wants to bless you with his favor with his abundant favor dearly beloved you know today is a day where we inherit the favor of god today is the day where we you know embrace his favor and we own it up 100% and by which we are supposed to you know go closer and closer to jesus so please continue to stay with me as we will continue to meditate on these topics if you are blessed in any way by these episodes please share it with others thank you god bless i'll see you tomorrow